the simmering war between NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell and Cowboys owner Jerry Jones is about nothing more than power. And Jones thinks Goodell has too much of it. To sum it all up, what I want of all is, I want accountability, more accountability. I want unprecedented accountability to the ownership. That simple, Jones told reporters Sunday night after the Cowboys were embarrassed by the Eagles on their home field. Ironically, Jones, an owner who threatened to bench any of his players who protested against inequality, is staging his own protest now against Goodell. Part of the reason behind Sunday's 379 loss to Philadelphia was that Ezekiel Elliott served the second of his six-game suspension for an alleged domestic violence incident the NFL is punishing him for while police have not. That suspension also seems like the root of the rift between Jones and Goodell, whose power as commissioner allows him to unilaterally punish players like Elliott under the league's personal conduct policy. Jones said the Elliott suspension has nothing to do with it. It's unfortunate that motives are being pressed. It's all about Zeke. It's all about that, which questions your motive, but Zeke is done. Zeke is over, Jones said. But some of the things that make that happen are still around. ESPN recently reported Jones was so upset about Goodell's handling of the Elliott case that he threatened nuclear war against the commissioner. I'm gonna come after you with everything I have, Jones said, according to the report. If you think Bob Kraft came after you hard, Bob Kraft is a P.Y. compared to what I'm going to do. Mentioning Kraft was a reference to Goodell's suspension of Patriots QB Tom Brady over the Deflategate case. Matt Dunham, our commissioner is probably the most powerful, relative to his constituency, he's the most powerful person in America, Jones said. He's been given that kind of power, so what you want to do if you want to make some positive changes is you want that power to be accountable, in my case, to the owners. Goodell is up for a new contract and Jones has reportedly made the negotiations more difficult as he wages his crusade. According to MMQB.com, Goodell's new contract includes a base salary of almost $4 million per year, with 88% of his total compensation tied to bonuses based on how much money the league makes. According to reports, Goodell took home $31.5 million in 2015. Peter King reports that Jones is leery about the 88% portion of the deal, which replaced an old salary structure that essentially guaranteed Goodell an average of $25 million per year. But more than the money, Jones seems intent on chipping away at Goodell's power, which allows him to suspend players like Elliott and Brady. What's interesting is that Jones never made a stink about it before, when Goodell unilaterally suspended players like Ray Rice, Adrian Peterson and Brady, Jones didn't even start a fight when Goodell suspended Greg Hardy for four games before he could dress for the Cowboys. Now, all of a sudden, Jones wants checks and balances in the NFL. And now, all of a sudden, an owner who threatened to bench any of his players who protested for equality earlier this season, is staging his own protest against issues he believes are unfair. Every entity that there has ever been has a time to evaluate, reaccess, freshen up and do it better, Jones said. I've never been with one that didn't. Let's just say, we aren't, but that we were getting in. Somebody new, that's when you sit down and say to them, this is how we'd like these issues to be done. I'm one vote. I'm only one vote, but we need to have that opportunity, and we can. We have plenty of time. We have a lot of issues. Everything we're doing here is about making this league better. By the way, that usually comes with angst. My experience has been with angst, very much angst.